And well, today is World Environment Day. The focus this year is on pollution and how to contain it. At least here in India, pollution levels are always soaring. But what is more alarming is the dismal waste management in this country. Now, it's no surprise that India's largest landfill is a mountain of waste. The UN says the Ghazipur landfill is a uh, landfill is soon going to be taller than the Taj Mahal and in New Delhi uh, will become a fetid symbol of the most polluted capital in the world. Taking over more space than 40 football pitches, Ghazipur rises 65 meters high, rising 10 meters each year. In 2018, a section of the landfill collapsed, killing two people. Pollution from the landfill is causing severe health conditions and issues in the area. Yeah, they, it can cause life-threatening issues. If they inhale uh, these poisonous gases, then they can have cancer in the long run. And well, globally, scientists have warned that uh, water temperatures are increasing far faster than expected, which drives rising sea levels. Climate change and human development are putting one million species, a large share of which live in marine environment, at risk of extinction. According to a report published this year, these changes in turn are threatening coastal ecosystems. Now, sample this. There is a Brazilian crab catcher on your screens who very livelihood is being threatened by climate change pollution of uh, pop the population of crabs in the in the forest areas where he works has been dwindling this is due to the rising water levels in the rivers due to climate change não só é só aqui não só é só eu tem muitos pescador que depende de si desse dia a dia well, uh, apocalypse, uh, apocalypse uh, may have come a lot closer. A report that was released ahead of the World Environmental Day has painted a bleak picture for human existence. According to the report by the Melbourne-based research, humans may in 31 years if concrete actions against climate change are existential crisis at a much faster rate than we thought. The Paris Climate agreement seeks to limit the rise of global temperatures to three to five degrees but even a three degree rise constitutes an a risk according to the study now a three degree rise in temperature means a 0.5 meter rise in the sea levels the study says that most of bangladesh and florida would drown while major coastal cities such as shanghai lagos mumbai would be swamped if the sea rises to such a level if the global temperatures rise by 4 degrees, it could lead to the complete devastation of up to 80 to 90 percent of the incomplete human population. So what happens if nothing is done about climate change? The think tank says that, the West, uh, that West Africa and West Asia will become unlivable by 2050 and over 1 billion people will be forced to relocate. The world will experience more record-breaking heat waves and more than 20 days per, per year. Over 55% of the population will be impacted by this heat. More wildfires, intense flooding and more damaging hurricanes, food production would fall drastically due to the catastrophic decline in insect populations. And the last four years have been the hottest in uh, well in record with 2015 being the hottest year and 2018 being the fourth warmest one